Right, so we've had a, a, a little chat with one of our friend diggers that are here. He's churning up over there. Yeah. Uh, so we'll leave him to it because um, he does such a great job, doesn't he, Mick, for us? <laughs> well, not for us, but he does a great job. We just benefit from his great digging that he does. But he said he's done some digging over here on the other side, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Come on, the other side. A mudlark and a bottle dump. Yeah. So we can find the five, the five, the five, the five, the five, the five, the Not an auction, Mick. It's not an auction. Right, so yeah, let's have a look and see if we can see anything here. Just a couple of things there before we go for a bit of a mooch. Just a couple of things on the top here, and you can see them. So now, a pipe bowl. Oops, let's have it. There. A Dublin one or O'Brien, not quite sure. O'Brien, there you go. And a little. Oops. Oh, that's a bit fancy. A fancy little scrolly lid. Two little gems. There you go, two great finds, two little instant keepers. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start, I was going to just look around the sides here, but I think I'll just go to the end and work my way back. I think that's probably the best thing. Oh, I can see. Oh, right. It's been, oh, it's been digging over there. Okay. Okay, right. So there's probably lots of bits and pieces lying around. Let's go up here. This is where he's been digging. I see, I see. Oh, I see. A totally new hole up here. Right, okay. Oh, what's that? What? Something there that looks a little bit interesting. Hang on one sec. Let me just put my camera up there. Sorry, something there. It looks a little bit interesting. Not quite sure what it is. Let's go over and have a look. Is it wood? Is it glass? What is it? Oh, oh, it's broken. What a shame. What a pity. Oh, look at that. Oh, actually, you know, it's only the tip that's broken on there. I think, I think I could grind that down on that little grinder, just make that a bit more of a point. Because let me show it on here, on the on the main camera. Right, look at that. It's glass, like an ornament. But you see how it's broken off there? It's only a little bit that's broken off. I reckon on that glass grinder, you could quite easily grind that at the end I could re-glitter it if I wash it probably that gold glitter might come off but I could re-glitter that that is a lovely little thing what is that thing don't know what I'm going to say it's a keeper and I'm going to think I think it's a is it an ornament I don't know but yeah definitely keep like blue milk glass clear glass at the bottom glittered it's a keeper Right, I think that is a little white baking bean. I'm going to say baking bean, not marble, because it's really quite small. There, can you see? Oh, sorry, can you see it just about? I think, I think that's what it is. Or well, it could be a bead, I suppose. Let's see. No, I'm just going to say that it must be a baking bean because it is so, so tiny. There you go, little white one. And that's just, I was just knelt here just after looking at that little glass thing. There you go, keeper. Right, I think I can just see on the edge there a stopper. Oh, slightly sliced stopper at the end there. But always a nice little find. You've just got a little divot in the middle. A little bit sliced off the end there. But still, you don't notice it when it's in a bottle or in something. A nice glass stopper. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, dropped it. There it is. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's really difficult when you've got gloves on. Right, a stopper, a little keeper. Oh, right, does that look like a usable stand there, maybe? And, or there, whatever it is. There. And that, what's that? Is that a dish? Is that a dish there? I don't know. Let's have a look, stand first. Hmm, it's not, it's not bad as stand. Sorry? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Forget the stand. Get rid. Forget that because Mick has found something super. Oh my gosh, he's found a master ink. I'm right down a hole. I don't think I can get it because every time I move closer to it, I go further down the hole. <laughs> oh my goodness me, a master ink. Oh my word. Wow. Look at that. A master ink. That is absolutely amazing. That is definitely going to the big camera. 
let's have a proper look at that good old master ink there a beautiful little thing let's take it over there <clears throat> Right, okay, here we go. A master ink, that is a great find. A little bit of, that's why it's been left. It's got a little chip there. That's nothing though, that. These are beautiful, lovely, thick brown. Um, is it salt glaze? Salt glaze thing, I think. Let's, should we see if it's got any sort of um, maker's mark on it or some sort of, oh, it has, it has, it has. There we go, sorry. Let's got it on there. I shall try and read it. Ooh. Famous last word. Derby, something Derby. Born Derby, B-O-U-R-N-E, Derby. There you go, Master Ink. That is a beautiful little find. Not often we find uh, big master inks. Super. Right, I will go back now we've got that out of our system. I will go back to what I was looking at, which wasn't quite as exciting. Oh, hang on, is that a cork? We'll have the cork if it is, yep. Cork, you know, I keep those. Very handy for the old bottles. Potion bottles, right, stand. Okay, oh, it's got, doesn't matter what it's got on it because it gets painted, doesn't it? You know what, I'm not going to keep that purely because with this one, it's not a case of knocking something off the top, I'm going to have to fill it as well. So I've got stands that I don't have to fill, so I'm not, but you know, you could, if you found something like that, just fill it with a bit of clay, make it flat, use it as a stand. Right, let's have a see what this is. Oh, it's a lid, it is a lid. Uh, obviously, I don't think that's of any use whatsoever. Yeah, I can't can't think what I would use that for so I'm going to leave that here I'll just take my little cork that was the keeper here what's this here sorry oh pig right hang on what's this here is this a something or nothing what's this it's a stone <laughs> it's a stone it's a nothing right I shall keep looking keep scouring piggy thing there it's been dangled got a pot, bottle in my pocket Ugh. let's pick it up there toppling over yeah look Ear missing. Over there, so I can have a look at that. Get a film of that. I think I can see a bead there. Those beads are well washed down. A white bead, is it white? It's a white bead. Put there, don't look too close to this camera because it's not really great um, focusing. A little white bead. Keep it. Oh, right. Jam jar, it's a white, it's a clear one, but you know what, I don't need it now, but let me go to the big camera because I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you a little story about clear jam jars that might come into play in uh, future larks. One second. Okay, so regarding these jars, there is a lady that has, um, like, she's, it's, it's a cafe, like um, an eatery, let's say, where I live, and she wants to do um, like little craft nights there you know, um, making things and whatnot. And she said she wanted to do like jam jar crafts, and make like little night light things for people to come along, have something to eat, uh, do a little thing, whatever. So, although I'm not collecting it now because we've got nothing confirmed, I might end up coming back for all these jam jars and all the things that I didn't collect because she wants to do some sort of like little classes, little lessons. So, I'm gonna leave it now, but remember where I found it because when I come back for them, because she wants them, you'll know why I'm picking them up, but for now, gonna leave it here but in the future I might be picking them up especially for that lady to do classes with right we've got a uh, big jar here I oh, will look at it just in case it's a kill in the one Oops, sorry it isn't so I won't bother keeping it they are great great bottles I will leave it up there oh what's that what's that funny shaped bottle there oops sorry don't forget because the camera is mounted on my chest when I stretch for things I don't it doesn't quite follow me right what is that it's Oh, I don't like it. I'm just thinking what that would look like crafted though. It's got patterning. Oh, it's got like flowers here. Flowers there. Ribs. Hmm. Oh, I don't like it though. I'm not, no, I'm not going to take it. I'm not. 
Oh, should I feather craft? No. No, I don't like it. I'm going to leave it there. But it is a good idea for the when you paint it and rub the pattern off, but not for me today. Right, I did see a button somewhere. I'm sure I looked down here and saw what looked like a button. Is that it there? No, it's not. It's completely corroded. Oh, let us find a, a triangle-shaped jar. Let's have a look at that. Uh, oh, right, I thought it was a screw top, but it isn't a screw top. Oh, it's got a dink in it. What a shame. There you go, triangle. Triangle ones are always nice. Don't need to take ones with dinks in, though. You never know, I might find one that hasn't got a dink. There you go, triangle jar. No idea. I wonder if they were triangle-shaped to pack more into a box, maybe, to pack them a bit better. It seems like the right idea, doesn't it? Right, but we don't want that, so we'll leave that there. I'm at the bottom of the hole now. Let's see if the bottom of the hole produces any goodies or not. Let's start over here and see what we've got. What's that? Right, leave that one there. A light bulb. Oh, we're not, I thought it was a light bulb. It's not a light bulb. It's a, uh, it's a, um, uh, a condiment thing. Salt and pepper type thing. They're always nice. Cut glass. Hmm, right. Might tempted to take that one for crafting, actually. It did look like a light bulb, didn't it? Hmm. I'm quite tempted to take that one because it's quite quite patterned, quite detailed. Let's pop that there. Okay. What else have we got? Oh, good old paste pot. Definitely won't be keeping that. It's just a dinky one with a square square bit for a label. The rest of it's ribbed. There you go. Bog standard, bog standard one. Little jar. Always thought it was round. It's not. It's got. What would you call that? Not faceted, but don't want it. But pinky sides. There you go. You can see it just in the light there. That looks like a little gin, little gin or whiskey bottle. Not for us. Not for us. Can't see anything little in here. No little gems. Always plenty of the jars that we don't particularly need right now. Um, with the jar. That's a whopper. Whopper of a jar. Would only be tempted if it was aqua. Leave that there. Right, I don't think there's any any little gems knocking about here. Little bottle. Oh. It's a nice one, but not something that I need to keep because I've got lots of those. Right, I'm just gonna have a little stand still and sort of a really close look. See if we find any little gems. Tempted with that. We'll see. Might might take that. Might not. Right, I can see there something round right here. I don't know what it is. Right, still don't know what it is. Capuchon, is it, I think? Oh no, hang on. Oh, hang on. Uh, that might be a button, actually. Oh, it's a button. That's weird. That's a... Gosh, I'm just making it worse with my grotty gloves. Oh, there you go, it's a... Like a Scott, oh, I don't know. I'm going to take that to the big camera in a minute. That's got like swirly bits in it, like a, like a purpley type colour. That is weird. That's a weird button. That I'm going to say Bakelite, or I would say Bakelite or plastic. I don't know. I don't know. There you go. That's a little find. I'll show that to the big camera in a minute. I'll continue looking along here. I can see something round here. It looks blue, it looks round, it might just be a handle, I don't know. Oh, what's that say? Boval, boval, sorry. Boval, oh, is it a broken bottle? Oh, what a killer that is. I don't know what boval is, but that's a little round bottle. Oh, what a shame. Trade boval, trademark boval. Oh, what a pity. Oh, that's a killer. That was probably something very, very nice. Oh, what a shame. Right, I'll keep looking. Okay, we're just moving some of the soil off here. And that's fell out. That there. Looks like a lid. Hopefully it is a lid and not the bottom of a bottle. Let's see. It is. Oh, it's a good old jar lid. Good old glass jar lid. We'll have a closer look at those two. Going, working our way back towards the big camera, but that is always a good find. I'll just keep moving a little bit of soil off the top here, just a little bit, see if anything falls out. I don't want to completely fill the hole that the digger has just dug, <laughs> but yeah, little gems. Right, there we go, glass lid. Seen plenty of those, always a nice 
little find goes on the aqua glass jars and then this thing whatever this is let me just wipe it on my trousers so we can see what it is here you go it's a button but it's since bake light button but it's a dopper bead make bead wow i just found a big dobbing button <laughs> doesn't beat a bead oh right okay yeah Looks glass though, looks like a glass bead. Yeah, super, super fine. Well done, Mick. Eagle eyes. Oh, looks like a stoneware pot over there. Either forgotten or like. Oh, and I've just found one of those lids actually. Right, what do we go to first? I'll go to this lid down here and then I'm going to make my way over to that looks like a stoneware pot there. Okay, a little dinky one. Right, so let's come down here. Here first, let's see. Oop. I think you've got them looking at that. Is that a bead? Hang on. Right, hang on. Right, lid first. Getting sidetracked by things. Oh, yeah, it's just exactly the same as the one I've just found and just shown to camera. A bit of rustiness still on that bit there. There we go. A aqua jar lid. Well, we've got plenty of the jars. So there you go. A lid. Right, I thought I saw a bead because I thought I saw something blue down here. It might not be because I've got my glasses on and I can't quite see properly. No, it's just a bit of nothing I think oh yeah some sort of powder color right but that is a certainly a great find right let's go and see what this stone little stoneware pot is all about Ugh. got to be careful holding on to the trees here because they do sort of snap from underneath here oh and a stopper and a stopper there we go there's a stopper next to it gosh three stoppers already super let's have a look at this oh Oh, it's got a big, I've got loads of these with chips underneath them. It is great, but I'm not going to keep it because I, I really do. I've got about half a dozen. They've all got chips in the same places, <laughs> all underneath that rim there. Uh, I'll save that for somebody else who wants to save it with a bit of clay. Not for me. I've, I've got a few already, but oh, oh, stoneware. Oops, <laughs> when you're not dropping it, it's always a nice little find. Uh, this is probably nothing but it. It piqued my interest as I went past because it's got writing on it. It's got some writing down the side. Is that an amber bottle or is it clear? Oh, it's clear, so I won't. Oh, I don't know what's it say though. Morning. Oh, morning powder. What? The devil's morning powder. Um, morning as in the day and night morning. <laughs> morning. Sorry, they've got Mick in the background there, searching away. Uh, morning powder. Oh, oh, it's got something else. Oh, I'm going to keep it. What is that? beautiful embossing that would really look good painted and rubbed off or oops, gilded so it <coughs> nearly smashed it uh, Regisan uh, Regisan trademark something of king of health Regisan tra oh, tell you what, what am I struggling on this one let's take it over here now we know what it says okay over to this this one here it's not pressing there, isn't it? There we go. So there we go. Regisan. Um, whatever that one was. Regisan. King of Health, sorry. Regisan, King of Health, trademark on the corner. And then the other side, it says Morning Powder. And I know it's a screw top, but that, because of the embossing, would lend itself really well to the painted craft. And I know I said I wasn't collecting any more for that, but when you get ones with embossing like that, you really can't turn them down because that will craft really really nicely I mean, just look at that writing that writing's beautiful keeper wow another stopper that's stopper number four gosh they're like buses today there we go is that a plain one what's that one that's a gardens a lovely colored aqua stopper i think that's stopper number four if a, certainly stopper number four from me i'm just trying to work my way around here another hole over there and just the other side of the spoil of here because that's what we're looking for the stuff that's been thrown out in the spoil here we go a keeper oh i'm right, just going to turn over the bottle and see if it's got anything on it oh i think it does i think it does what does it say oh i think it's a boot it's a boot cash chemist there you go not that that's made it any clearer because the gloves are super grossy 
There we go. Boots, cash cash. Oh, it's got a chip on there. I won't take that because it's got a chip on the neck. Still a nice bottle. Could use it for class, but I've got a few that aren't broken, so I'm going to leave that there. Still a nice little find. Boots, cash chemist bottle. Is that a little, that little link there on my feet? Oh. It is, but nothing special. It's just one of the long necked ones. Yeah, don't think there's anything special about that. Ooh, it's a nice bottle. We'll leave it here for somebody else, though. You know me, I'm trying to be really, really good. Well, every now and again I am. What's that? That's broken, whatever it is. Okay, I'm just still scouring on here. Seeing what's what. And go over to that bit over the other side. See if we can see any little gems. Look at this little pig thing that makes round. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh... Oh, his ears off. Little running pig. Oh, whatever it was, it wasn't much higher than that, to be honest. That's the top of it. Just that that, bit's, that corner bit's broken off there. And his feet. And his bottom of his legs have broken off. Sorry. Oh, what a shame. What an absolute shame about that. I'm not going to do anything with it. Back in the day, I would have, but I'm not going to do anything with that now. What a pity. But, yeah, a little, little pig. little porky pig there. Hmm, well that was an interesting shaped, well it looks like ink from up here. It is a screw top but it's got an interesting shape so I'm going to give it a chance. I'll give it a bit of a go. Oh, looks like a bell. Right, there's no label that's worth saving on there, let's just give it a, a wipe. Hmm, interesting shape, what's that? Has it got anything on the bottom that will tell us what it is? Nope, just, uh, oh no, gosh. FCC, does that say? FCC 293. Hmm. I'm going to say that's an ink though. It's not a screw top actually. That's not a screw top, is it? That isn't a screw top. Right, that one stands a chip. Oh, it's got a big split down it. Big split down it there. It's not in half, but it's in the bottom. Oh, it's it would have had a cork in it because cork's inside. Oh, what a shame. What a pity. That, oh, sorry. Like a. I don't want to say bell ink, it's not quite like a bell, is it? But an ink that would have had a cork in, and the cork is right in there. It looks like a screw top, but it isn't. Oh dear, never mind. Oh, there's a massive soda siphon down there. Obviously too big for me to collect, but usually have some sort of um, um, uh, etching on them. But I'm not, I'm not sliding down into there just to have a look at that. But they usually do have some sort of um, etching on the soda siphons usually quite fancy too right i've just scoured this bit here i can't see anything no little gems here that are poking out so uh, onwards and upwards let's see what else we can find in a different location well i hope you're enjoying the video if so don't forget to go down there just down there and hit that like button that's right hit the like button because that helps us um, and if you're not subscribed do subscribe or do think about subscribing it costs nothing to do it. it doesn't cost you anything you can subscribe and if you want to move on it doesn't cost you anything nothing so give us a little subscribe and not just us everybody that you watch because it helps them channels and it helps us move on in our little journey on YouTube so thank you very much for that so um, and don't forget to check your notification bells because YouTube just for some reason likes to turn them all off. So check them. Anyway, we're going to continue here. And I'll be checking that like button to make sure it goes up. I'm sure somebody can keep an eye on that. Let us know if it's going up. Found out. I don't know if Sarah's interested in it. I'll show it to her. She might be interested in it. She might not. But uh, she can have a look. It's all there. Oh gosh, so many jars I can definitely bring that lady here and she can collect them with me if she wants to do crafts with them can't she so many and no if we go to snowy dump as well if we go all the way over there we can get loads there right but not today I'm not carrying them today let's have a look at this let's just see if this is a kiln nut no I think it's a clear one isn't it it's not a kiln nut right, I won't bother I won't bother taking that one is that green or is it just oh it's just life that's making that look green that is actually a clear one no, nope, that's another keeper. Right, another another spoil heap, another concentrated look. Right, I can't tell if that's a something or a nothing. 
this round thing here, I just looked at it from over there, where is it, on the screen, there, that thing there, I don't know what that is, not come down to look at it or anything, so, oh, it's a, oh, sorry, it's a bucket, <laughs> I don't know what that's off, a little bucket, off some sort of figurine thing, I'm going to keep that little bucket, that is a, a little keeper, when I first saw that I thought it was false teeth, it's a bit of crinkly glass, right, there's a, Something up there that looks like a bottleneck, but it also looks like it could be just a tiny little, a small bottle. I don't know. Something there I think is a bottleneck, but for some reason it looks like it's got a bottom to it. So let me just check it out. You might as well come with me. Oh no, I think it's just a leaf on the bottom. Oh look, it's just filled up at the end. That's why I thought it was just one of them strange little stubby bottles. And it isn't. Right, look at that little bucket. And there's no hole in my bucket, dear Liza, so we'll keep that. Right, something round there, we suspect, we suspect, it's on the floor there, that it could be a paint pan. And like always, we don't pick it up until we get you on here. Mickey, eagle eyes, strikes again. It is a love, that's a tiny one that as well. Oh, I love a paint pan. A little, that, that is definitely the smallest round one I think I've ever found. Mickey, eagle eyes, strikes again. There you go, a little bit of a better image for you. They're not massive, these things, but lovely, aren't they? Round, found lots of square ones. I found lots of round ones, but not that small. So, yeah. Mickey eagle eyes. Oh, that just kicked, was kicking the floor on here with my feet in hopes to uncover something. And I have uncovered something because that looks like an alley gob. There you go. Ooh, look, I can't quite tell what colour it is. Blue, I think. The blue alley gob. Obviously, I've ruined now because of rubbed it but there you go one little alley gob just under the surface I was just merely just scraping the floor with my foot and there it is alley gob super little gem of a find also known as jacks and five stones um just a little games piece right I think I can see something purple there I dismissed it at first because a few of the trays, trees have been sprayed with purple spray paint around here. So I can't see if I can get it somewhere around there. Right, it's something purple. Okay, so I haven't had a chance to look at it, but it looks from here, looks from here like a bead. And I have never found one that colour. Never, ever, ever. And it is. It's a, or is it blue? Might be cobalt blue or purple. Sorry, let me just get to the other camera one second. Uh, got to do this without losing it there you go I can't tell if it's cobalt blue or purple but that is a lovely bead like I say the trees around here have got a few purple spray paints on them so you know when I first looked at it I nearly dismissed it there you go a lovely colour yeah I don't know if that's something or nothing but I can see something circular there might just be nothing that's it what is that hmm I think that is, can't be wood, I'm going to say that's a bone counter. I don't know what the red colouring is, but I've, unless it's off a, it's hard, it's hard, it's definitely hard. I'm going to say that is a bone bone counter because I can see like, you know, like, not grain, but you know what I mean, like the, whoops, the markings of bone. Yeah, I'm going to say that is a bone counter. It's very, very thin, very thin indeed. So, second games piece, there you go. Super little find. Let's see if I can get it on here. Get the camera up a sec. Nope, that's wrong. There's a bottle here. It's a big, horrible beast of a bottle. No one would want it, but it's got a stopper in it. With a C on it, I think. We will have that. That, honestly, that bottle, so nobody would want that. There's nothing on it. It's got nothing going for it. But, oops. <laughs> but that stopper is a super little find, and we'll have that. Vulcanite um, stopper. Oh, look, all the things to find. I won't rub it with my gloves. It's a bit of quartz. A bit of white quartz there. 
of all the things to find on a dump. I have found actually massive chunks of quartz on a dump before. Goodness knows how they've gotten to here, but could be just from part of what they've filled the landfill in with on top, couldn't it? But yeah, there you go. A little bit of white quartz. Quartz crystal. Right, I don't know what that is. It looks like maybe some sort of different sort of insulator next to that bottle. Oh, that bottle's got a hole in it. Look at that. This thing here, what's this? Oh, I think this is just some sort of insulator, isn't it? That would connect one wire there and one wire that way. What a shame, that's busted. I could have used that as a stand. Yeah, different sort of insulator, that. A little, uh, little brown ceramic one. Milk bottles here. Brown jar there. No, we don't need any of those, I don't think. Jars here. Not for now. Right, we're just combing the place, trying to ignore the bottles and just combing the place for little gems because we keep finding little beads and games pieces and things like that. So, yeah, so scouring for lots of little bits and pieces so that my bag doesn't get full. There we go, and I'm doing well so far. Right, that looks like a little white pot there. I'm not sure, it might be a bayonet, like a light fitting, or it might be a little pot. I'd hate to leave it if it was a little pot, so one second. Oh, what's that there? Is that ceramic? A little ceramic thing off a salt shaker? Didn't take that other one, otherwise I could have married it to that. Oh, what a pity. Oh, oh, never mind. Not to worry, but is this pot down here? It looks like a white, sorry, it looks like a white dish. Let's see together. Shall we? Is it, is it or isn't it? Oh, dear. Oh, no, it's not. It's not a white dish, but it is. <laughs> I don't know, it's got four. I like it. I like it. We're talking wind chime territory here with holes there, ready, ready done. And it's a smaller one than I found before. No idea what it is. Five holes. But yeah, I can see that working. See that working as a oh, wind chime, or unless you can think of something else. I'm thinking wind chime with that. You know what? I might go back and get that little salt, that little, that crystal cut salt cellar thing see if that fits it I'm gonna take it just in case it does okay right but that little bowl holy bowl thing whatever that is don't know but that is a keeper oh aqua jar I do have room this week for an aqua jar in my bag because I've actually virtually got nothing in my bag today because I've been picking up little gems and leaving stuff so I can afford myself um, a little pickup of an aqua jar there you go that's a little keeper whoops Right, the digger's... what? Yeah, the digger's gone now, so let's have a look at the spoil that is left behind. Ooh, there's a little twisted glass rod there. Let's have a look at that without standing on it. Make sure it's not buried. Right. <laughs> if we hear someone shouting... Oh, look at that. that oh, that looks UV as well. UV. It looks UV. What do you reckon? Be, yeah. It's twisted. That's, that's lovely. Yeah, I'll definitely I'll keep that, definitely. Little bottle won't won't keep, you know, no score on those. If we want them we know where to come for them. Right, so let's have a look to see what's in this whole broken bedpan there. Good, because that's the last thing I want to take home. <laughs> a bedpan. Right, okay, let's let's have a look. Let's see what's what on here. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll bring you back if I see something that's worthy of a look. Oh hang on, look at that just while we're here glass milk glass whiskey probably dundee whiskey something hmm that's, that might be worthy to keep actually might be able to do something with that maybe might just, just leave you on oh there's a little a little tiny little bottle okay you know what i might make a little pile might make a little pile we can decide at the end whether we're going to keep all the stuff that i put in the pile well, let's have a look and see what is thrown out here. Got another vase. Okay. Just a little little panel bottle. I can't see anything super exciting. I'm just hoping he's not buried himself underneath that lot. <laughs> Hopefully not. Pot. Okay. Oops. Right, oh, a broken blue bottle, but that was a killer. Big pot there, thankfully that is broken. Oops, thankfully that's a broken pot, broken underneath and broken there. Thank goodness, because I would have took that. 
Right, what else have we got? Broken, broken lid over here. About it. Got some bottles under there. Usual tall thin ones, like a Sunny Sunny's our one. Little bottle. Oh, here we go. Cauldron. Oh, it's a slightly bigger size cauldron pot. You know, I will still keep those for next year. Little paste pot, but in the shape of a cauldron. Keep those for the craft. Egg cups. Don't need any more egg cups. Not at the minute. I've got a few. That one is definitely a keeper, though. Right. We've had a bit of a scan on the way down. I'm going to have a bit of a scan on the way up. And if I spot something, I'll bring you back. Right. That looks like an interesting little bottle there, actually. Just because it's got a really big cut out for the label. Oh, a screw top though, unfortunately. So I probably won't keep it, but very interesting little, like a barrel bottle, but only tiny, tiny barrel bottle. There you go. I thought, you'd bring, I thought I'd bring you back just to show you that one though, something a little bit different. Does it, hang on, does it say underneath what it was in it? Smith. Smith, that's all it says underneath Smith and some numbers. I, was, I just looked at it and thought, oh, it's a milk bottle, T and tiniest one I've ever seen, but actually, nice that is that is dinky and worthy of keep keeping, it. I think. I, think I just discarded it, it as well, I was doing really well. Yeah, we'll keep it. I'm going to keep it, because it's a little... It's a rainy day. <laughs> it's a bit of a rainy day, I have to say, but yeah. I will have that. I nearly didn't. It was close. Keepers. Right, just seen... Oops, sorry, this is uh, going up the hill. Just seen this here with a bit of writing on it. I know you can't see it clearly, let's move that tin foil out of the way, this thing, something, oh it's broken, whatever it is I think, oh it is, well, that would have been a big beefy viral, I found a small one of these on an island once, near where I live, <laughs> that would have been a lovely, oh it's been a lovely one that, I'd have been skipping if I'd have found that full, but always worth um, checking when you see something on the ground, because I have actually had lots of good path finds, but that one isn't a good path find hole over here I'm trying to get into. Find a root in. A root in with it. Either way. Big hole down there. So the scour about. Oh right, very very bright. Very very shiny. I think if I'm not mistaken because I've looked at it, I've not touched it. I think that is a marble. And it is. It is an orange or an amber, or, I don't know, amber or orange and white swirly marble. That is a super little find just on the top there, which is usually how it happens. You just find them there waiting for you. That is a super little gem. Definitely been a day of gems today. Stopper, gosh, I think that's about glass stopper number six. Yeah, I found six. That must be the sixth one today. Honestly, I found six. What's this one? Just a clear one. Just a clear one. Oops, sorry. It's a clear one. And my marble. Like an orangey amber marble, swirly. Yeah. It says there's another marble up there, so come on. I picked up my rod and my whiskey sign. I don't know why. I might find, do something whiskey like with that. You never know. But anyway, don't get sidetracked because we're on our way to see if we can see the marble <laughs> that Mick could see. Right something else there but hang on marble here you say is it a glass marble Mick oh gosh a glass marble oh yes 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 it's down there isn't it let me just reach over grab it oh next to a stopper actually a busted stopper is that oh that's a bottleneck oh there you go oh that's a little tiny one but so colourful wow oh look at that that's definitely a German marble. Look at the swirls in that. Yeah, I'll show it on the big camera. And that might be a coin. Ouch. Oh, Holly's right on my bottom. Ouch. Right, coin. Oh, could be. Feels, definitely feels coin like that. Let's go to the big camera. Okay, there you go. Swirly. Swirly marble there that I found. I can't tell if it's amber or if it's orange. But beautiful. Okay, then Mick very quickly I'm gonna let me wipe it let me wipe it very quickly found this little beauty look with all this look at the fine swirls that are in that that is a beauty then this coin right I don't want to rub it it feels 
she says rubbing it it feels coin weight feels it's thick enough to be a coin I can't see any holes so it doesn't look like a medal so it's some sort of coin we'll have to investigate that a little bit further and since you're here we might as well show you that rod which I think might be a UV rod okay for that UV project I've never got around to doing which we'll do one day and then as soon as you're here I'll just show you that glass whiskey sign not sure what we could do with that but I'm sure if we were doing something alcohol and stoppers and mm, I don't know something 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 have a think you might even know don't forget comment down below if you can think of a craft using this okay the whiskey sign have a think you know what I found you know what I'm capable of have a think what what craft can I do with this and uh, I'll appreciate it very very much thank you right just looking in my footsteps don't know what that is oh I think it's is it some sort of doorknob? That was whatever that was on there was just come off. That's that's wooden. Whatever that is on there, because it's quite rotten. Right, difficult to tell what it is when you've got gloves that make things dirtier. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but hmm, quite like that little teardrop-shaped ceramic thing. Right, I've just come down. The other side of the hole I was in previously just to see if there's anything that's been chucked over anything that's tumbled down to the bottom like super little gems but that is a keeper a little teardrop shaped ceramic thing oh look at that what a shame broken torpedo bottle oh what a beauty what a beauty all broken what's that thing there oh oh what a shame I don't, I don't even know what that is but I would have kept it. I don't know what it is. Just that little bit broken. Oh, I don't know. That'd be a pie funnel, can it? Because it's massive. Unless it's for a gigantic pie. I have no idea what that is. But that's another killer because I would have took that as well. And you probably just as well that all these things are broken. Right, I'm just having a quick squiz around here at the bottom of the hole. I managed to slide my way down. But everything down here looks like it's broken or something that I don't really need. But I'll have a, qu a quick close inspection and just see if there's any gems on the surface. Oh my word, look what Mick's found. A glass, little glass flagon. Oh gosh. All in one piece as well, but... but sorry, I thought it was falling then. It's just too big for me, I can't take that. And it's a shame, because it's in one piece, but... I know I can hear you shouting at me, take it, take it, take it, but I can't, honestly. That's way too big for me. I've really been very good. <laughs> I've really good. Look, I'll leave it here. Right, I'll leave it here. And if I, if I feel like I should have taken it, I'll come back and get it. I'll leave it on the side. Right, that's it. I'm being good. Oh, what was that? What was that there? Oh, I don't know. That was off something. What a shame. Oh, I love things with writing on, but I prefer them to be full. Mm, never mind. Keep looking. Okay. Right, we're going to keep on having a look around yeah, here. Yeah, a little bit of scour. We've got so much great things to have a look at. Yes. And we're going to say goodbye to you guys. I want to thank you all for joining us. Yes, thank you so much. And we'll see you all again next time. Yes. Uh, we've got a live tomorrow. Half a state. Pop over and say hello. And yep. Meet all the old regulars there. And see what we fun. found in a bit more detail. Yeah, see what we find in sharper detail. Yeah. Go up close. And uh, that's it. Got a yep. few games there. Play for games. Yep. Uh, say hello to everybody. Yep. Otherwise, we're going. See you all again real soon now. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.